and there we go. Hey yo everyone, how are you all doing today? Nice to see you straight there in chat, Walker. I was watching your messages coming in as uh, as the countdown was going there. Um, yes, the Boron, you are too eager today. I have not finished yet. Is this boy? Every time I like tap my wheel, it turns the engine off. It's crazy. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, regarding the font, I still haven't been able to fix it. I don't know why it's changed. Um, there's no option in my overlay package to change the font style, as far as I can see. So the only thing I'm going to have to do is possibly uninstall it and reinstall it and see if that fixes it. Either way, you know, it's a bit weird, but <laughs> over it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be the the, the it's not gonna be bad. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> It's Walker. I'd like I'd tap my gear stick down here, or I'd I'd touch a control, or just move. Watch, watch. Oh, you're not going to do it now. You're not going to do it now. That's all I did last time, and you turned on. Fiend. He's trying to psych me out already. <laughs> but yeah, indeed, Walker. Welcome back to Snowrunner. Um. So guys, uh, regarding. Um, expeditions. I've been having to think we will be going back to it at some point, but I feel like for expeditions I need to give it a little bit of time uh, for Sabre to release a few patches because there's there's a few bugs. I mean, the bridges are one thing, um, just not peering, but some other issues that I feel like they could um, solve. So we will go back to expeditions when it has been bug checked and patched um, so yeah that that will be on the horizon because I do enjoy the theory of the game I enjoy the feel of it it just didn't feel right strange but hey ho anyway we're here we're playing snowrunner today so let's get to snowrunner where were we <laughs> I think if I remember last time we were over on the reactive zone and we were um, we were towing that big trailer. We towed the big um, turbo trailer thing. Second, guys, turn that off. I just put my little fan heater on every so often in this room just to take the edge off the temperature because it can get a little bit chilly in here sometimes, especially when you're wearing a t-shirt, you know. Uh, but yeah, so. I do believe we were doing some of those missions. Uh, what was it? Was it one of these? No, I think it was these ones, wasn't it? Yeah, you spin me right round, static pressure, there's prep and then there's prep. We were doing those ones last time. So, what I want to do today is start clearing up a few jobs. The first one I would like to do where is it? Which one is it? Yeah, that one. It's not that one either. Where is it? Water, TV picture, water monitoring. There it is. This is what we're going to start with today, guys. Uh, I brought the Voron over here to the port. Um, and now we just have to deliver some boys. Delivering boys. <laughs> uh, and once we get through with that, what I think we'll probably move on to is power grid. And then the power line missions that that will unlock, I believe. Yeah, we need to do power line to do that. Um, and then obviously one, two, yada, yada, yada. So... That's what we'll be starting with today. Hopefully get through it all. Might not. I have a habit of this game of biting off more than I can chew in terms of what I would like to do. Um, but we'll see what we can get done. Hey Bart, nice to see ya. So, we have 
our boys down here, as you can see on the map. Just here. Boom. Uh, first one is delivered down here. Now, this is interesting because we could also do beached at the same time. I haven't even picked that job up yet. So, let's... Uh, we've got this boy on board. We're pretty much heading down here. Down here. Now, I think what we then need to do is come up here. And then scooch down this here and round. And then once we're there, we can... Have a look at this job and see if we can do this as well. Uh, <laughs> it looks old fashioned. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's got its charm about it, doesn't it, Bart? Yeah. Expeditions does look really super polished. You know, I do like that about expeditions. It is so um, swanky looking. You know. Um, it really is nice. I just wished it played a little bit better. Um, I've been following your antics in the in the Discord, Bart. How are you trying to rescue? Was what? What was it? Was the bandit? Um, yeah, and just not being able to do it, <laughs> which kind of is my experience with the game as well. I will. I will say. Right, boy one has been. Sorted. So, let's, uh, that, that, right. Let's see how well we do here. I do believe the other two boys have to be delivered to the opposite shore, so what we'll probably do is load both of them up. Uh, in the back, take the ferry across and then find a suitable place to dump one of them whilst we deliver the other one, you know? Um, just so that I'm not having to come back the whole way. But, uh... It's, uh... I've gotten so used to double-thinking the controls because I've been playing Expeditions that I've kind of gotten the controls for SnowRunner. <laughs> it's so strange, actually. There we go. Right. Now then. I think I can get around the coastline there, can I? It doesn't, uh... Looks like that gets very deep very quickly over there, so... Let's try this gully. I haven't actually looked. I didn't even think this gully was a way down originally. But in preparing for today, I kind of looked at the map a little and was like, uh, yeah, there's a kind of... a kind of sort of route down for this one, so... Let's see how well that goes. I think the fun part is going to be getting the the other truck that we've got to rescue up the hill again. So, oh yeah, oh look, yeah, there's some tyre tracks here. Never even noticed them previously. Okay, so. This is a very squirrely little plus here just to control our speed otherwise we'll be going over let the moron go full speed down here it's gonna lead to expedition style shenanigans Bonk. this does actually this 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 little route down here does feel very expedition like that much. Let's triple round. Pop this off. Cross over here. 
Damn it. As bad as I was thinking it might be. I've been down at this shoreline before, so I really know what to expect in terms of landscape. One boy. Hey, there he is in the water. Oh, that's I like that. I like that. That it actually places the boy out in the water. That's it's nice. Wondering if they might that might happen. Okay. Those buttons, links, not the other buttons. Going back the other way, that's for sure. No, that's that. There we are. <laughs> Properly upgraded trucks, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with expeditions um, going forwards, but. I'll probably play a little bit off screen just so that um, when we come back to it eventually we're a little bit more prepared for situations. Okay, where is this going? Oh, over to the other side of town. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. That we're going in that direction, so... Oh. oh, we just need to take the Hummer as well. Okay, not the trailer. Don't need the trailer, that's for sure. Because there's one thing that you can definitely be certain about is that uh, Snowrunner Scouts are not really meant for hauling. Neither are, uh, neither are Expedition Scouts for that matter, but hey, you know. Come here, Mr. Hummer. With me. I was thinking we'd have to take the uh, the Hummer and the trailer, and I was kind of like, "How am I gonna? How am I gonna do this?" Right, so there we go. Fantastic. Underway. Walker, I think I'd have to agree with you there. The um, the year one pass was fantastic, I think. Um, looking back on it, we had uh, Lake Cove. Well, was it called Lake Cove? No, that was the map name, wasn't it? Is that the map name? Oh, stuck on a rock there. Um, yeah, we got Lake Lake Cove, and then we had um, Yukon. Oh, the Kola Peninsula. That was it, wasn't it? The Kola Peninsula. Yeah, Kola Peninsula, Lake uh, Yukon. Then we had what was the third one again? Was it? I forget what the third one was. Now. Wisconsin. Was it Wisconsin? Was it really Wisconsin? Oh my lord. I don't remember that being a year year one pass. I know a more was Walker, yeah. I don't remember was I thought Wisconsin was a year two map. Oh no, because year two was Year two was the Glades. Um 
and then we had Tennessee, and we had Maine, and we had the Don region. That's right. So yeah, wow. Wisconsin. I thought that was a much later map. Just goes to show this old noggin's just completely cried. Um, either that or I've just been playing too much SnowRunner. <laughs> either either could be true at this point in time. Um, yeah. Uh, and then yeah, and then in this in this year we've had Ontario, we've had British Columbia, we've had. Uh, North Carolina, and uh, what was the other one? Scandinavia. That's right. So yeah, yeah, it's it's steadily kind of gone down in difficulty. Um, you could kind of say that that's partly due to the fact that the the vehicles that we've had access to have improved over the seasons. You know, but I also would say that. For sure, the maps have gotten easier. You know, they have definitely gotten a lot easier. Oh. So, what do do? Oi. Right. It would be nice to see some harder maps. Um, I mean, I, I, I would say possibly not kind, not a more levels of difficulty, you know, I would definitely like to see a proper, another proper snow map, you know, I mean, we had, uh, the Kola Peninsula and we had a more in, in season one. And since then, we've not really had a proper snow map, like a proper, proper snow map. It's all been... A little bit um, non-snowy in a game called SnowRunner, um, but yeah, I would like to see kind of Polar Peninsula Yukon levels of difficulty returning to the game. I I think that would be a good uh, a good level of difficulty. No runner, it should have been mud runner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, uh I I would I would agree. It's there's been there's been I kind of feel a little bit like Ian Malcolm, you know? It's kinda of like the there, there is there is snow in uh in your snow runner game. You know, all the all the devs back at Saber are like, I really hate that man. <laughs> I wonder if that is actually going to stay on. Not the, uh, not the best kind of balancing job there. <laughs> you hope a more levels of difficulty never return. I I can I, I I can definitely say that I hope a more levels of difficulty don't return. You know, I mean it's uh it was a challenge for sure, you know. It was a challenge and hey, you know, I like a challenge as much as anybody else. But oh wait. Wait, did we leave one of them behind? Oh, that's odd. Ah, oh. boo, boo, hiss, hiss, boo. Let's take both of them. Hang on a second, guys.
Come here, you. Right, up and over. Might work better, actually, with this one packed. So, let's try and pop this one down here and clamp it in like that. Perfect. Now we have them both. Fantastic. That just cost me $1,500 to retrieve that cargo, but hey, never mind. Say, where's where did where did my uh, my Hummer go there? I couldn't see it for a moment. Right, drop this off. See. <laughs> <laughs> you see the, uh, <laughs> this guy? <laughs> you guys didn't see that. Um, remember, uh, I was doing that particular mission at the end of one of the streams, and I said to you, look, I'm just going to finish this mission off. I'm just going to, because I'd nearly made it, I'd nearly finished it. It was literally a case of crossing the river. Um, and uh, I had that packed in the back of the Azov. Right, and I was towing the rest of the stuff behind me, and I was like, I'll just finish this off green and then we'll pick up from there next time. Right? That's what happened when I turned that in. It froze, and I couldn't move it, I couldn't unpack it, I couldn't push it out the way. I literally had to bring another truck over here, turn the Azov onto its side so that I could kind of scooch it out from underneath the darn thing and then put the Azov back on its wheels. <laughs> and it's still glitched out. I know they've patched that since since then, you know. Um, I think I think it's because I'd already, I was doing it, kind of happened before the patch. That's why it's still there. Oh, oh round here. Okay. Um, and that's why it's still kind of hanging in midair. But yeah, that was, that's the fun that I had with that mission. It was uh, it was not fun. <laughs> uh, right, where are these next two going? Ah, one here, one there. Okay, we'll go over to the gas station. Fill up drop one of the boys there. And go and drop off the other one on the island first, I think. A <laughs> gas station, such a luxury. <laughs> Never again will I curse the price of fuel on SnowRunner. Because, lo, I can just buy it. <laughs> oh, so nice. <laughs> you know, I will say one thing for expeditions. Uh, it makes you appreciate some of the things we have in SnowRunner. <laughs> It's like, oh, it's a road. It might have some cracks in it like this, but it's a road. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw one of those. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, I had to go slightly off road. That was terrible. <laughs> Just, oh, God. It's, it's such a, such a game. You know, such 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 a. <laughs> oh man. You know, I I I I went and after after the stream last time, right? I went and um, watched a few YouTube videos on uh, expeditions, and you know some of the stuff that. Going down that road there, I am okay. Um on expeditions to, to kind of 
kind of get an idea of how other streamers were faring with it. Um, and out of curiosity, I plugged in how to rescue the pug, you know, the, the truck that caused me to rage quit uh, before we even made it there. And uh, I, I watched this person rescuing the pug, and yes, they went down the same route that I did. Um, they actually made it to the pug, but the video was about... Uh, I think it was about 50 minutes long? And literally the only thing they did was rescue the pug. And it was like, we're gonna move two meters forwards, get stuck, and spend five minutes unsticking ourselves. Now we're gonna move another two meters and get stuck. And I was like, ah, so it's not just me. <laughs> it's not just me. It's everybody. <laughs> the pug's not very good. Oh, ah, <laughs> just to add insult to injury. You know, that's another thing that I uh, that I want to know about expeditions, is which vehicles are worth recovering, you know? Because obviously, you know, in our eventual likely goal of 100%ing expeditions, everything will be recovered. But like, trying to determine which vehicles you should recover first, you know, and even just where they are is an absolute nightmare. Kind of hoping we get some. I know. Um, was it yourself, Bart, that linked those uh, topographical maps? So those those are a good start. Bandit, the big Tatra, and the Yar. I figured those vehicles would probably be quite good. Yeah, because they're quite good in Snowrunner. Like all the other vehicles that are in expeditions are questionable. In Snowrunner, you know, but those those three are pretty solid vehicles. Yeah, um, I, I, that's actually another vehicle I looked up how to get was the big Tatra, and uh, yeah, that seems like a whole kettle of fish. Goodness me, rescuing the big Tatra does seem like it would take several million years, perhaps. It, uh, it's, it's really in a crazy location by the look of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm guessing all three of those vehicles are also on uh, the Carpathians map. Because why wouldn't they be? I suspect everything that you find on... Um, Oh, oh wow, <laughs> Walker, wow, the bandit has, the bandit's fuel tank has been buffed from 150 to 160 litres. Oh, good old bandit with its, I'm just not going to have any fuel. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. I love that truck, but my lord, it does have a fuel capacity problem. that down. Nice. Now then, how exactly do we get down to here? There is this road here. Let's follow that. Looks like it goes through here. Right. Let's thirteen slots. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Uh, load that up with fuel. That's definitely a good amount of available fuel for the bandit. Ah, oh, it'd be so nice to have those trucks. Maybe I should make that my goal for getting back into expedition is finding those three trucks and rescuing them at some point, you know? It's 
uh, be good to have them three, for sure. Go. Oh, there's a broken telegraph pole here. I wonder if we have to have to deliver some stuff to this at some point. Yeah, that looks very much like a drop-off point. The wrong button now. That's up an atom. I wish we had a uh, tyre deflation mechanic in this game. That is definitely one thing that I miss from Expeditions. Hey, no problem, Bart. See you soon. Have a nice dinner. Um, yeah, the tyre inflation deflation mechanic is, uh, is great. I love that. Once I've kind of gotten used to how to use it properly... Uh, and actually remembered to use it properly. Um, it really was making a difference in my progression. Um, it's a shame the rest of the game was not. <laughs> I can I, I complain. Goodness me. I do too much complaining sometimes. It's meant to be a hard game. It's not meant to be an easy game. Expeditions is to SnowRunner what... Um, I don't know. Call of Duty is to Pong. Something like that, I guess. I, I, I couldn't think of an analogy off the top of my head. And boy delivered. Lovely. Right. Now then, we should have... Power grid. So this is what I want to do next. Um, yeah, this is this is the next job. Metal beams. So we need quite a few of those, and then we need the uh, the coiled tubing semi trailer from. Uh, reactive zone, I think that's on. I think we have the GMC standing by for that. I know I've got it hooked up to a big trailer at the moment. So. Spin this boy around. We are needed up at the metal plant. I've already got the dairy up there. Ready and waiting. But, um, need quite a thing. So, I'm going to use two trucks the Sky and the Derry to get the metal beams in. Then I think, um, fuel. I think fuel. Oh yeah, Walker. I had I did actually hear about that. The the Tatra Force on Expeditions um, has what is in effect a three slot cargo bed. Like if you if you assume that like the Action has a one slot cargo bed with like four uh, um, yeah, because like a so it has like a triple cargo bed. All the other trucks only have one or two. It's the only one with three. So, yeah, it's a it's a beefy truck. The 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 force in expeditions. I really do hope that we manage to uh, find it at some point. Okay, that was probably a bad move driving into that mud pit. 
in there, but anyhow, unlike expeditions, we can actually get ourselves out. Hey, look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. some cock. Ah. The crazy thing is that we're actually going to be coming down this hill as it's getting dark, which is what I kind of wanted to avoid, but... Yes, it can't be helped now. Committed, you know. generator and let's get some metal beams. of metal beams. We need six. Actually, I'll make a seven. But... There. Now we do some crane work. We've got to load, not only load the dairy up, but we've also, uh oh. I have not parked the dairy in a very good place for this to occur. Forwards. We are not done with the loading just yet, that's for sure. Yeah. 
rain. Right. I'm going to double stack these. on going. It's going, but it's going very slowly. Like watching a clock spin. It's better. A little bit quicker that. Take that round into place. Beautiful. Right, now we want uh that one please. Yep, there we go. Ah has put the extra length for it making yeah yeah so I th think I get what you're saying there Walker that the uh, the Tatra kind of has you know like 12 effectively a triple room for a triple cargo slot bed and uh, yeah expeditions just kind of makes it happen all of this cargo stays here in our romp down the hill. Gonna need to. Right there. Didn't want you to do that. It's like wrestling a slightly to move. You're supposed to go exactly where I want you to. That's it. That's better. Right. And then one more on the loading platform. <sighs> one more to go. There we go. Right. Pop this on the back of the Boron. And all of these, both of these vehicles are going down the hill. That's going to be fun. I think we'll be taking them one at a time. I would like to combo, uh, convoy them at some point. I probably will once I get them down the hill. But I think until I do, until I get them down the hill, it's probably safe to do them one at a time.
down. Perfect. Rain clamp. Also perfect. Right. We are ready to go. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> no worries. Okay. So I think I'll take the dairy first, just in case we have any spillages, because then at least I can follow up with the boron that has the crane. So let's just drive this down the road a little bit. Get it. Uh, can, I... can I turn my lights on, please? There we go. That's better. Should have done this with the Kenworth. Yeah, probably, Walker. You're probably right. Um, but uh, we're here now. I just happen to have these trucks in the vicinity that I needed them. That's kind of why I'm using them for this job. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I just haven't had a lot of time to set up. If I'd had um, a bit more time to think about this um, and bring some other trucks out of the garage then probably would have used the Kenny um, but there's still plenty of heavy hauling massive cargo delivery jobs for the Kenny to do so you know we'll probably break it out especially on um, reactive zone there are a lot of big cargo delivery jobs on reactive zone left so We'll break the Kenny out and uh, we'll see how it does with the big hauling jobs. I always get nervous when I don't have a crane and I've overloaded like this. It's uh, really kind of sketchy. Anyway, I don't know if everything's going to fall off. Imagine it probably won't unless it goes to quite an angle. But I really don't hope I really hope I don't get to that kind of angle. That's kind of what I'm hoping. Oh, steady there. Steady there, Derry. This thing has such good steering lock that I'm kind of oversteering almost in a way. Now this is potentially bad spot. Let's go for a low gear. Just kind of round. Oh, hey. moving a lot. Right, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just creeping. I'm just creeping. Do the casual creep. Just until we get to the road. Where I can actually open the taps a little bit. No, 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 no. Bad load. Get back. Back to centre. Thank you. That one beam at the back there is taking a distinct liking to the left-hand side. Low plus. Fine. Might just have to nudge that beam back onto... Uh, back onto a uh, more kind of agreeable angle. Oh, 
first flash of fuel. Whilst we're in the vicinity. Go down to the port. And then we'll get the boron down here. Then we'll, we'll nudge that beam back across. Then we'll head on through. You used the uh, the Kenny quite a bit there, eh, Walker? Yeah, I think I, I think for me the reason I don't think of the Kenny as much as I probably should is because I have a slightly sour taste about it following Scandinavia. Um, it was just really lacklustre what it promised. But uh, now that I know a little bit more about the Kenny, I really ought to actually put it to use. Because it is a good truck. It just doesn't do hills at all. Like a period. <laughs> like a hill. <sighs> Expect me to go d up a hill. <sighs> break it out. I think we'll break it out at some point. It's, uh, its cargo capacity is ridiculous. It's like, it's not quite as ridiculous as the Fem, but the ability for the Kenny to have a crane in addition to all of its cargo slots, I think, and the fact that it is a much more stable truck just does make it a good contender. Come on now, Boron. Well. To uh, control our speed a bit. Very top heavy at the moment. <laughs> Very bouncy. I think I put the raised kit on this thing. Got a very, very bouncy and top heavy. Not good combination of things. Yeah. Steady. Hey Bart, nice to see ya. How was your dinner? Mushrooms, actually, a good mushroom soup is proper tasty. I'm, I'm generally not that path. Well, I don't mind mushrooms. I don't mind if they're not there as well. In a lot of cases, but you know, ham and ham and mushroom on pizza, that kind of stuff. That's nice, you know. Um, I'm not generally a fan of just whole mushrooms, but mushroom soup. I have had mushroom soup in the past, and it is good. Yeah, a soup and to butter toast. Nice indeed. Actually, I, I, I will admit my dinner was substantially less healthy than yours. <laughs> my my dis my dinner consisted of two baked pasties and two donuts from Greg's. <laughs> it was uh, decidedly not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there 
stop about halfway up the hill, you crazy thing. Right, let's just... Uh... this back into place. Want it uh, flying off. I don't think we've got any serious terrain coming up. At least that I can remember anyway. So we should be okay. on and let me just double check where we're going so it's basically just straight down this road straight down this road and then bam 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 cool excellent funky goats indeed funky goats never go wrong with a funky goat well you know depends on the situation that spawns the funky goat but I would generally think that funky goat is a good thing tight corners. I'd rather not risk anything happen. Ah, marvellous. Stuff. An extra goat simulator stream. <laughs> I played Goat Simulator a long time ago. Um, never really held much appeal to me. It's just, well, I suppose it didn't appeal to me for the simple fact of it was a giant sandbox where you just do silly things. But I guess that's the whole point of the game. Also, Gangster, nice of you to join us. Good to see you, my friend. Let's go. At least at this point, if we do lose a metal beam, it's not too bad. Not too much of a... Uh, not too much of a distance to come and collect it if it falls off at some point, but... Hoping that nothing does fall off. That would be very annoying. It stage of the game, but so far so good. We've still got to bring that fuel in as well, actually. I think that yeah, that has to come from the reactive zone, doesn't it? It's the only place I can get it if I the uh, the fuel station. So we send the dairy through to get that. That this could be a place where I might lose a metal beam. Oh no, we're all good. We're all good. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll speed through with the dairy and. Uh, grab some fuel. Seems like a good farm. Derry's a nice truck. 
Very four is a nice truck. The uh, the long uh, the three seven something. Not a fan. But this one, the four five, definitely a fan. It's a good piece of cheap. Right. Uh, now the question is, which one of these zones does things go to? So, unit one. So that's. Okay, so that's that one and that one. So, over here. No. Here. Oh, hey, fuel. I forgot that was even here. Change to dairy. I think we'll go to the other one first. Back to that one. Yeah, it's uh, not exactly a safe thing to do, is it, Bart? Conductivity and all that. Bong. Marvellous. Around. Is a good point, uh, Walker. Uh, basically, uh, oh, what am I stuck on? It's something. Uh, can't, oh, I've hit the uh, safety office. Oh dear. Uh oh. Uh, might be problematic. Come on. Worst reversing job ever. What have I done? Can I still get round this way, or do I have to? Go? Might be able to squeeze around here. Um, but yes, Walker, um, I can use this to pull the big coiled semi trailer. Um, But uh, currently this thing has a low saddle, so I'd have to uh, take it back to the garage and reconfigure it. Just a little bit of faff at this point, so I'll just keep it for... Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Darn it, game! Seriously? Uh-oh. Am I stuck? Am I stuck in the landscape? Um... That's... that's not cool, game. Oh my! Right, okay. I'm... I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, so... What damage did that actually do? I know I lost some suspension. <laughs> it's a fucking bronco! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you were here to witness that with me, guys. That was kind of funny. Um, ah, dear. Right. Damage. Have I only lost... Yeah, I only lost one tyre, but I did lose most of my suspension. Uh, that's kind of annoying. 
Now I just need the fuel. Do I actually have a truck on the reactive zone that I could do? Probably do, to be fair. Probably have a truck that would be quicker to get the fuel with. I've got a couple. I've got like the step. Big Zeke's there with a super heavy trailer. Oh, crikey. Yeah, of course. I do have quite the collection of trucks down here. Um, the Pike. Yeah. Let's just, let's just grab this fuel with the Pike and then go. So, uh, oh, yeah. Um... Guys, you know I said I was going to bring fuel over here. Well, the Taker B thank, uh, gladly obliged. This is the, the tanker that's next to the garage. Uh, I brought it over here and refueled everything. So, yeah. That's that. So. For fuel. speediest fuel delivery in the known universe. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah. Da 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 da! Onwards! <laughs> oh dear. I am very thankful that my longhorn didn't go into the sky at that point. I know that's possible. It's, it's more... that kind of skywards launching tends to be more a co-op thing. My understanding is correct. Not exclusively so, I do understand that, but I know it tends to be more a um, more a co-op problem. No runner. Yeah. Seemingly, I was parked where the game wanted to place some stuff. Issue there. We've got a nice view of it though, I will say. I might have to make that into a little clip. <laughs> that was entertaining. Come on, step. Here we go. Now. YouTube short, yeah. That's a YouTube short if I ever saw one. Never actually really dabbled in YouTube shorts, you know? Probably should look into that. That would actually be quite a nice way of kind of capturing funny moments. Because I know I did that compilation video recently. Uh, of my very early days in Snowrun. Back when a lot of the shenanigans was happening. Uh, but that video took me... I think probably the best part of a year to put together. Because <laughs> I just didn't have the time to work on it as much as I wanted. So I was like doing a little bit here and a little bit there. Yeah, shorts could be good. I might have, I'll, I'll, I'll have to look into that because it could be good, you know. I don't know how many of them I'll do per se, but it might be an interesting little extra to look into. Okay, it's grass traction. There we go. Here's. Help watch out, cones. The madman on this.
slightly crazy route here with the undergrowth, but it maximises my traction, limits the amount of time that I'm spending bogged down in a ditch. Now. So far, so good. I think my uh, my um, my my desire to get all three of the power lines done is probably pushing it for today. Considering how long it's taken us to get this mission done so far, I've still got the coiled trailer to do as well, I believe. But uh, please get this one done. Maybe get the next one sorted? I don't know. Depends how long it takes now, I think. Four of those and. Ah, oh, mate, no. Full station. Need five. That's better. Right, where are we going to get out of here? Uh, oh yes, up and over there. So, we've done this route once before. Across here. 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 Down. That's us going. A dive there. <laughs> oh, gangster, I remember those days. Early days on Michigan. You know, that was actually the hardest point of hard mode. The hardest part of hard mode is starting hard mode, you know? I mean, how much money do we currently have? 359,000, you know? And I bought the Longhorn recently. Just casually, just out of the buy. It's like, money is not a problem. Actually, speaking of stuff like that, I remember when hard mode first came out and everyone was shouting about how economically it just wasn't possible because like to, the, the stuff you had to buy there just wasn't enough money in the game to buy it all stuff like that but it's it's so not true you know I mean sure if you're recovering your vehicles every five minutes because you're falling into a ditch and you can't get them out oh be honest, Steph. Then, yeah, I guess you could possibly run out of money. But 
but um, yeah. Honestly, hard mode is just how I play SnowRunner now, you know? If it ain't hard mode, it's not SnowRunner. Hard mode has become my normal mode. Oh, that's a log! Romulans everywhere. I tried to take a sneaky little shortcut there, and it was like, nope. Ha 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 ha! You thought you were free. But you were not. <laughs> you don't remember the last time you bought a truck, eh, gangster? Ah, loading twelve logs onto a sideboard bed. <laughs> Hey Bart, that's still a tactic I use. <laughs> that is such a good way of delivering logs, you know, when, well, when you're not using mods, alright, because I've had a look at some of the, the logging mods that have come out with SnowRunner over the years, and some of them are just amazing, you know. But, uh, hey, that's the, that's the... That's what I have to deal with in this series. No mods. I do kind of feel left out sometimes, though. I have to admit. It would be nice on occasions to load up a mod, but... Uh... Come on now. Up and over. Myself stuck. Oh, stupid trailer. I I think I was supposed to go round that as opposed to over the top of it. You see, that's um, where my problem started there. Uh, can I actually go back here? Not really. Kind of knitted to going forwards here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey, babe. Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, I think I was most certainly supposed to go side around that uh, as opposed to, you know. Um, straight over the top of it like that. Uh, is that not? Yep, I think I've... Uh, Gone the wrong way. I've, I've really wedged myself in tight here. That's it. Come on, round this way. Round we go. There we are. That's better. Okay. There. We go. <laughs> it's 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely should not have just dived off there without thinking about it. supposed to get around here. across this crossing before, haven't I? Yeah, it's over there. Why, why did I think just driving straight ahead was the way to go? I'm supposed to go over here. And then take a right. That's better. Hey babe, if you want noodles, we do actually have some in the cupboard. I think we even do have um, uh, a pot noodle in there somewhere. I think you were talking about wanting something else. <laughs> Weren't you guys? I, I don't know. I only caught half of that chat. Right. Anyway. Let's get this through the gateway. Then get it delivered. We're going to have another location on the map where we have a whole... Ah, the Yoda rug. Nice. Thought it was possibly rug related. <laughs> By the way, did I mention that Natalie is super talented? <laughs> way to get this down to where we're going. We need to make this crossing here again, don't we? So, um, yeah, down to here. And then we've got to cross through here. And then follow the road. Perfection. Why don't we have enough fuel? Oh, we should be fine. We've got a roof rack. And, uh, Also, a fuel at our destination. I think 
my previous excursions through this swamp were with slightly bigger trucks, so... Hopefully this deck won't struggle too much. Stay relatively on the stuff here. Oh, 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 wait, that's an actual truck. Okay, can't drive through that. <laughs> the cuteness of Baby Yoda compels you. Of, this bit of swamp isn't really made for the hike. Need a slightly bigger truck to get through here. Well, without too many holdups. Hike's still going to make it, of course, but it does struggle a little bit. Zone marker. So close. Oh, I'm cute. Why, thank you very much, babe. enough fuel without having to dip into our roof reserves. That's nice. Very nice indeed. We have any spare tyres on this thing because I prepared a dairy as we go past. I'm sure this thing has spare tires. Okay. Note to self, don't drive that quickly into broken tarmac. It generally doesn't go well. We do have a spare wheel. Boom. There you go, Derry. Have a wheel. Perfect. <laughs> Don't have much left, much else left on it, but hey. Perfect. It's bringing fuel into a substation. That also seems like a very smart thing to do. Go 
and flying again. Oh, no, that was over there. Okay. Not this time. Yeah, well, well, I was wary of that this time, Walker. I didn't know where they were actually going to build those next bits, but it was out of... The, it was not where we were this time, thank you. So, that's good. Okay, now we've got to bring in... Bring in the big coil tubing. believe that is yes it's on reactive zone I believe it's what we currently have the GMC hooked up to or is it I think it must be this trailer. Can't be anything else, right? This is a coil tubing trailer. That has a terrible viewing angle. There we go. This is the one. Thank you, Gangster. Uh, yes, Gangster. Yeah. First job. Getting it out of here. Come on. Come on. Bounce. There we go. And we're through. Ah, right. Let's do this. The last thing for today, I think, probably, by the time we've got this delivered. And walk round one with the GMC. Now we have round two with the GMC. I think this is a slightly lighter load. I think the um, Stata trailer is uh, heavier. Or it looked heavier. Not that this thing is light by any means. This is a huge trailer. But I think the GMC should have a slightly easier time pulling this guy um, over the other trailer. Although when we get to the swamp, I might need to bring in another truck to help. So uh, yeah, I don't think we can manage the uh, the horrible swamp. Certainly not the same way that we went with the pike. I don't think it would make that. But we'll have a look at our options when we get through to the next plan. Come on. 
on that. Far so good. Had a bit of problem. around this next bend, I think it is, where this digger is. Yeah, just here. Wide as possible. Oh, not quite that wide. Oh, nice. Okay, that was... That was smoother than last time. The angle on that must have been a lot better. That and this trailer doesn't stick out six miles on either side, like the Stata does. It did. Won't we'll ever have to tow that trailer again. But I know this trailer, we have to uh, tow it around to various locations on the next map, I think. Um, several locations where this is needed to go. Which is going to be fun. That'll probably be what we're starting with on Sunday, by the way. So if you want to see the X. The exploits of the GMC and the coiled tubing trailer. Part 2. Tubing on Sunday. Yeah. Rhodes is where this thing is at home. Real test begins after the gateway. Go. Right. Oh, look, and the lights going down as well. Right. Um. I wonder if we could actually bring it down this road, you know, because we then can cut across here. So I think I'm going to see just how far I can get going down this track with this trailer. And if I need to come and rescue it with another vehicle further down the line, Let's see just how far we can get. I remember it being quite twisty this route, but I can't remember what much else about it. I've only actually been down this route once with the uh Wrangler. So far, so good. Stop going, low plus. GMC, you are 
full of surprises, aren't you? point. Fantastic. Point. Nicely. If this thing actually makes it to its destination without requiring the help of another vehicle, I am really going to be surprised. I will need to bring another vehicle out purely and simply because this thing's going to run out of fuel. <laughs> it's burning a lot. it. Where are we anyway? Ah, we're making some good progress, but yeah, we will need some fuel. Uh, most likely before we reach the end of this road, so. Slightly annoying. Oh, big boy. This. Ah, thank you. Who's that? Daniel. Thank you very much for the follow, my friend. My. thing isn't working properly. 
do it that way. There we go. There we go. I wish Saber would fix that, by the way. The uh, the disjointness between controller slash wheel controls and keyboard controls. See where I'm going. I think I've stranded this in a bush. Way too tight and got the trailer hung up on everything. <laughs> That's a forward gear we need now, Lynx. good fight but this field usage was always going to be non-sustainable trailer in general. Can't come this far and now fail. Come on. Stop. 
picked up on something. I literally just beached myself on the side. I can't actually see. You know, I think I've literally just kind of beached the side of the trailer here. I think I'm actually high centered at the moment, so that's as far as the GMC gets. At least for now. Right. I'm gonna go and give it a helping hand. It's made a good effort getting this far though. You know, that is a very plucky effort, getting as far as it did. But it has run its course, it just does not have the power to get itself free there. Hello there. Hey, Groot, nice to see you. How are you doing? Come on, Longhorn. I'm doing pretty good myself. Shazam! Finish this message, this uh, mission off. Got the uh, GMC stuck. <laughs> to uh, completing its mission. But the, the last hurdle, it just... just couldn't get over this hill. Seriously stuck stuff. Have I got to come alongside and pull this out? Gets yeah, like properly, properly beached. Yeah, that is. Amazingly beached.
Come on now. There we go. Now we're moving. Come on. There we go. Now we have movement. That was really wedged in there. Properly wedged in. Whew. Right, let's bring this boy home. And then I'll have to end the stream, guys, because I am now almost at my time. And I promised Natalie, who would watch some Bob's Burgers, and uh, build some Lego together. So, There is also a dog staring at you. <laughs> Laser vision. As is her way with things. You sucker. Now you're burning through all of my longhorns fuel as well. Pulling a dead weight. Oh, love of God, come on. Just tearing holes in the landscape here. Some solid ground so that I can actually put down some power. See, this is so annoying right now. Right. Come on. 
turn this entire area into just one massive, inconceivable bog. So, if I can't get this out in a moment, I'm going to have to call it for tonight, guys, and we'll pick up here next time, because I can't be spending 20-30 minutes getting this out. Um, I've got work tomorrow, and the tortoise needs turning off, and a whole load of other stuff. What on earth are we stuck on? Come on, seriously. driving into the trailer. Now, that's not budging anytime soon, guys. So, as much as I would love to finish this today, I have run out of time. So, I will get some fuel um, between now and Sunday, refuel these vehicles, and we will try again. We can definitely get this out of here. It's just a case of it's going to take too long for me tonight. That's... That's the, the issue here, guys. It's not, uh, it's not a defeat. Merely a postponement. Yeah, let's 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 go with that for dramaticness. Um yeah. I might even bring the cat out here, get some more fuel in the cat to bring that out here and just, you know, give this trailer a helping hand because this is very boggy terrain. I think uh long uh, pull this out so I'll take the long horn back to its trailer hook that back up I'll bring the cat out here and we will start with that next time so until then guys thank you very much for joining me hopefully we'll make some good progress on Sunday do a barrel roll and as always <laughs> take care stay safe and I will catch you next time. Shazam! It's not, womp womp. it's not a womp womp walker. It's merely a wompish. See you later, guys.